everyone welcome to the session in this presentation we will explore different dashboards that are available to us in the ServiceNow platform the topics that we are going to cover are different dashboard available to us we will have a quick demo then we will go over the references to the knowledge articles what are the different dashboard that are available the first one is the system events and job dashboard this provides visibility into the status of the system events and scheduled job processing for an instance. The other one is the data usage dashboard. This gives a summary of the storage consumption and monitors data usage over time for the instance. Let's go over them one by one. First one is the scheduled job dashboard. This was introduced from Vancouver release. It helps to learn about the key health matrices and insight of the scheduled jobs. The other one is the system event dashboard. This was also introduced in the Vancouver release. The system event tab of the dashboard provides health checks, scores, and event processing trends to provide a holistic view of how system events are processed on the instance. There are three main modules here. First one is the system event processing health checks, current scores, and trends let's have a quick demo so in order to go to the dashboards uh, we need to look for system events so under system diagnostic we will have options as system event dashboard and schedule job dashboard so we'll go over them one by one let's first go over to the system events dashboard so on the system event dashboard uh, by default it will load up the default queue uh, we can make changes or look for the individual or the different queues if we want so let's see if we want to look for how the flow engine event queue is performing we can change the date from 6th and let's see if I want to look for 7th and click on apply filters so it will load the related event active delegators the number of active processors the event job on the schedules if there are any kind of alerts being triggered All right let's load the default queue so that we have some of the stats updated all right so first one we use the active jobs so this will show us the number of active jobs uh, which are there for that particular queue. So this is the event process zero job uh, which processes the events which are in the default queue. It will depend upon the number of nodes that you have for the instance. Next is the event processing alerts. Let's say if we have any kind of build up which is there on the instance and events are piling up so we will get an alert out here and it will populate out the record in case there is anything some something that pops out and next one is the event jobs on schedule so these are the two events uh, which are currently on schedule one is the instance stats aggregator so this is the one which populates the data within these dashboards it runs every 15 minutes and next is the event transfer job so it transfer the events from different charts the older charts to the current charts let's move on so this section gives you the current scores so basically this provides an information on the number of events processed if there are any kind of total ready events something which is processing the total number of processed events let's say if we have an, a number where the total number of events which are there on the instance are more and then in comparison to the total number of the events how many has been processed as of now it will populate that count in case there is anything in error it will filter out the number of events which has been transferred the next one is the trends so this is the event delegation trends so it shows me how when the delegation was happening and at what time the event delegated thread was busy in allocating and after that 
we can see a downtrend it means that this is where it started downtrend and it was it sort of went to an inactive mode next is the event process trend so it will show us the peak times on when the load the count of events processes was high there are different stats ideal run count the queued count next is the event trends so it shows me uh, what are the trends on the events so here we can see there was a steep spike on this one apart from that these are the syscript action handler so here also we are seeing the similar kind of trends when this there was a spike let's go to the detail tab where we can see further stats so as we have checked there was no active alert so nothing is getting populated out here so next is the statistic details so which is on the event delegator thread so here we can see at what intervals the event delegator thread was running on the num the number node id on which it was running along with that what is the ideal count run count or what was the duration so it was pretty fast as we can see out here next is the event processor statistics so this is the event process zero job so it shows out the statistic on each run and number of event it processed on what is the node on which it ran moving on next is the queued statistic so it this is shows me on this particular default queue how many are logged in events what are the number of processed event if there is anything on the error what was the total logged in event at a given point of time next is the individual event stats uh, which are getting processed in the default queue so this is the glide heartbeat event this is from the out of the box these are the again the login dot do and the PA job related events which gets processed in the default queue so here we can if you want to look for anything within the particular date range we can filter it out and it gives us what is the average lag if there is anything slow just slowest handler IDs we can look for those ones from here if we want to edit this particular item next is the script action handler so here we this is what we observed out here uh, for this rebuild cache this was one of the event handler which took time so this was all about the system event monitoring dashboard let's move on to the schedule jobs dashboard So this particular jobs dashboard gives us an overview on how the scheduled jobs are performing on the instance. So let's say if there is anything from the stuck jobs, currently there are none from this trigger, so it will populate out here. If there is anything on the permanent error, something if it's pending, there is some jobs which are running, it will populate those ones. From here we can see that the total execution count around what time the number of count of the jobs it shows a graph in case there is any kind of latency that we want to observe if there was any it will populate out here in this graph from this the job classification is if you want to look for any specific jobs on how it's performing out here let's see so let's check on this recurring event priority check job and let's give us a date range of 5th and see how it has performed So it looks like it has been most of the time it has been idle there has free few spikes that we are seeing so there is nothing much that it has run let's clear this one so 
so next is the trends on the scheduled jobs uh, these are the recurring flows and the even processor jobs uh, what is the number of prior execution count what is the priority of those jobs any average processing time what it takes so if you want to sort it out based on the average processing time and see which all job is taking the much time so we can look at from here so this is the physical table stats gather job right so this was all about the system events and the job dashboard the next one is the data usage dashboard this was introduced from Xanadu release it gives a summary of your storage consumption and monitor data usage over time on your current instance there are few key benefits for this you can monitor the current size of the database and track additional cloud storage consumption it helps to determine which tables are consuming the most storage on your instance you can also monitor storage consumption over the last seven days or the last 30 days by checking the storage growth tent chart in order to access this dashboard you will have to go into the platform analytics modules in the dashboards search for the data usage visualization console dashboard let's have a quick demo on this so in order to go to the dashboard we need to look for platform analytics in the navigation panel under the platform analytics we will have the dashboards so we click on that it defaults loads for all the things which are available so here we can look for the data usage and visualization console So this is how the data visualization console looks. So here we first it shows us at what time the last stats were collected. Next is the storage utilization. So this is the current utilization of my instance. Down the line it shows me what are the top tables which are there on the instance. So for my instance I can see that the upgrade history logs is the top contributor. And from on the left hand panel it will show me what is the size of the tables below that we can see the trends uh, by default it shows for the last seven days we have an option now to look for the past 30 days as well so let's have a look so it will show us if there is how the trends is there how the database being utilized how the storage are showing up on the instance and let's say if there is anything which has been growing steadily so so it will populate the, the data out here That's all is for the data usage dashboard. You can go over the below product documentation links to get more details on the dashboard that we have just discussed. Hope this session was helpful. Thank you.